So you want to grow into the best version of yourself, but you're not sure how to. Mm, welcome to the club. <laughs> I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But I'll be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. Hey guys, I'm Shal, your self-care, personal growth and maybe traveling sister online, helping you grow into the best version of yourself. Because why would you do anything else? But wait, before we do anything else, like the most important question of the day is what are we drinking? So today I have rooibos tea. For those of you that are not from South Africa, um, rooibos tea is traditional to South Africa. So it's really one of the things that you should try when visiting here. It's made from the fermented leaves of a native plant in South Africa and it has a very sweet, earthy, calming vibe to it. Um, I love it and I drink it whenever I need to like just calm down or if I need something warm before bed, that's my go-to. So let's jump straight into today's video. Today we are talking about how to become the best version of you and start living your best life possible. Because why would you do anything else? So everyone wants to become the best version of themselves, but few people actually do. And let's take a step back and ask ourselves, well, why is that the case? Why do so few people actually follow through with positive habits, which inevitably culminate in becoming the best version of yourself, but you know, it just never happens. The answer is limiting beliefs. There's always some limiting belief that stops people from doing what they need to, what they want to, what they should do in order to become that successful version of themselves. And that could be due to a variety of reasons. Maybe it's fear, maybe it's negative people around you, maybe it's procrastination from actually starting a habit or a task or an activity that you know is going to be good for you. So what does it mean to be the best version of yourself? Let's look at the definition a little bit. The definition of best self means your version of the best form of you. And your and you are the key words in that sentence. It's subjective. Your version of what your best self looks like may not necessarily be the same as someone else's. It's different from what your family thinks or your friends think or even your work colleagues think. And hey, that's okay. It should be because only you know what your best self should look like. You know, often we get so wrapped up in what other people think of us or what other people might say if we do things in a certain way, but it's those thoughts that actually stop us from becoming our true authentic self and living in a way that makes us truly happy. Your best self means the version of you where you are in control of your life, where you make decisions that truly make you happy for yourself and not for anybody else. Um, it really is about taking control and becoming more empowered and more intentional with the decisions that we make so that we make choices that actually make us happy. It's also important to remember that becoming your best self takes time. So don't put all this pressure on yourself to become this best version of you in a week or in two weeks. It, it doesn't happen like that. It doesn't work like that. It's not a quick process. Becoming your best self is almost like a journey that you walk on. And as cliche as it sounds, you have to start enjoying the journey because when you enjoy the journey, those are actually the steps um, that you walk to reaching that end goal, which is your best self. It's also important to remember that becoming your best self is not something that happens in a day or a week or a month. It's, it's a process. It takes time to become that best version of you. And it's almost as if you're walking on a journey 
to becoming this best version of yourself and you have to enjoy the journey as cliche as it sounds you really have to enjoy the steps along the way along this journey before you can become this best version of yourself you have to to learn about you you have to discover yourself you have to discover the things you like the things that work for you the things that don't work for you the things that you're okay with the boundaries that you're okay with pushing and in doing so and in, in discovering yourself you really become the best version of yourself and I won't lie it's not going to be easy and I'm nowhere near becoming this best version of myself but I'm really you know trying to walk this journey and one of the things that I find difficult for me is staying motivated and some some days you're like okay most days you're like mm, no I really don't want to go to the gym today or mm, I had a long day at work I really don't want to eat a healthy dinner or mm, you know what I just want to jump into bed and I don't want to look at my bullet journal um, those th those are the difficult things those are normal it's okay to feel that way it's okay to take one night off and say, I don't want to do anything today. I just want to jump into the bed and watch Netflix. That's okay. But then the very next day, recenter yourself and remember why you're doing what you're doing because you want to be this best version of you. So let's talk about how do you stay motivated? Finding motivation can be hard trust me i know especially when you have long drawn out work days and other responsibilities as an adult when you get home at the end of the day you literally want to do nothing but that's where motivation comes in motivation is your why behind why you do what you do why do you want to become the best version of yourself so if you don't know your why pause the video here and take some time out and think about why it is you want to be this best version of you. And if you're struggling with that, I'll help you with the very first reason. Why do you want to become the best version of yourself? Um, because why would you become anything else in this life? That's good enough for me and it should be good enough for you. Why would you become anything else in this life other than the best version of you? If you don't know your why, it's really easy to lose track of all the progress that you're making and revert back to that older unhappier version of yourself and you and and you don't want to do that so take some time out and think about your why now there are two types of motivation intrinsic and extrinsic motivation intrinsic motivation is something that is driven by your values and your belief system whilst extrinsic motivation is something that is driven by recognition and reward and the ideal journey to becoming your best self is a combination of intrinsic and extrinsic motivation so let's look at an example of how you can combine intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Um, intrinsic motivation would be that you believe you have a lot of great ideas to offer at work and you want to build your confidence so you can start expressing yourself more. Extrinsic motivation would be that in expressing yourself more, you want to work towards some kind of recognition or promotion at work. The combination of these two is really the start to developing this plan on how you talk back to your why so how do you actually become your best self what are some of the things that you can do now to help you on this journey I'm gonna share five tips with you on how to become your best self number one visualize your future self take a minute step back and think about what does your future self actually look like what does he or she say how does he or she speak what does he or she do in the morning what is the last thing they do at night by visualizing what your future self looks like it creates this tangible person that you're working towards becoming asking yourself these questions will help you visualize what your best self actually looks like Next, take it one step further and create something that is tangible and physical that you can see and that helps remind you of what this best version of yourself looks like. Write down a few keywords on a piece of paper that you can reflect on every night or create a vision board with pictures that specifically remind you of what this future version of yourself looks like so you can constantly visualize what it is you're working towards. Number two. 
tackle your goals guys you've got to create your goals and then you've got to tackle them trust me i know this is hard it's so easy to write down goals on a piece of paper and then think okay i'm well on my way to achieving these goals but if you don't actually take action towards these goals they're never going to manifest into a reality so you have to tackle your goals start with the small ones these will be simpler quicker easier to achieve and it's going to boost your confidence and set you well on your way to tackling the bigger goals. It's also going to build up your motivation and keep you motivated towards working on your goals and this bigger picture of becoming your best self. Remember that with each positive habit you start introducing into your life, you start making small manageable changes that help you on this journey towards becoming this better version of you. Number three, and this is a hard one, love yourself. Now I know that this is easier said than done. And often we find ourselves getting into this negative cycle of bad um, self-talk when things don't work out or things don't go our way. But, but guys, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You have to accept yourself now for who you are with no judgment and no criticism because this is the key to walking this road to becoming your best self. It's going to make it easier when you want to try new things and step out of your comfort zone which may or may not go your way and that is okay. But accepting yourself, loving yourself, treating yourself like um, they're your best friend is going to make this journey so much more easier and so much more enjoyable. Number four, forget about other people. Guys, now is the time to forget about everyone else and put you first and just focus on you. Everybody else doesn't matter. They aren't going to be living your best life. You are. They don't know you as well as you do. You do. <laughs> Now is the time to stop being selfish, putting yourself first and focusing on you. And number five, just show up. Now, I can't decide if this is harder than loving yourself or, okay, let's just say they're both equally as hard because showing up to something that's new, to something that you know you're probably going to be bad at is so difficult and it's so demotivating that you probably don't want to show up, you probably don't want to do it, but you know that you have to do it because if you don't do it, you're never gonna reach this better version of yourself and then around and around and around we go. But guys, you have to show up. Showing up, even though you're not good at a particular activity or a particular habit, means that every time you show up, you're 2% closer, you're 2% better, you're 2% further down your journey to becoming your best self. And that's the key. The key is showing up because every day you're just a little bit further. You've done just a little bit more than if you hadn't started at all. So there you have it guys. Those are five, I won't say simple, five essential tips that you should follow on this journey towards becoming your best self. Remember though, Growing into your best self was never meant to be an easy journey. It was never meant to be quick. It was never meant to be simple. It was never meant to be easy. It's going to be an adventure of sorts, almost like you're traveling, but this time you're just traveling spiritually. Along the way, you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to meet a lot of new people. You're going to learn a lot of things. You're also going to lose a lot of people and that's okay too. The key is to just start because starting today means you're one step closer towards becoming that better version of you that you always dreamed about and there ain't no harm in that i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.